currently in Hong Kong. I've been traveling for eight months now. I travel solo, I lug all my own gear, and I just want to give you three tips on how not to get your gear stolen and how to pretty much film anywhere. And these last months I try to, I get a buzz at it, actually filming in places that people tell me are dangerous and, and I shouldn't film. Um, I get a real buzz out of that. And so rule number one is if you do want to try and get one of those difficult shots, you've got to remember that with a still image, you know, it takes you a second to get that still image. With video, you know, to sort of tell a story with video, you need maybe 10 seconds. So you're attracting a lot more attention. So I use, I like using stealth. Actually, the element of surprise. A lot of times it's best not to ask permission. You know, you ask permission and you can get tied up with red tape and it can take a long time. It's best just to play the dumb tourist, go in there, get your shot, sneak in there, don't attract too much attention and get the hell out of there. Rule number one. Rule number two, how not, not to get your gear stolen. You've got to realise that most um, thieves, street thieves, they're, you know, let's be, let's be honest, they're drug addicts, they're, they're in extreme poverty. Normal people don't do street crime. And that generally means that they're cowards too. So you don't always have to worry about what's in front of you. It's more, you know, they're more likely to attack you from behind with a knife or something. And if they do that, it's pretty much game over. You give them whatever they want because you're in a dangerous situation. So the idea is to always be watching your back. You know, don't must, you know, walk around, always, you know, look, stand up straight, look as though you're gonna be a handful to handle if someone does try to rob you but always be aware of people following you because that's how a lot of street crime happens. Uh, people come from behind, you know, with a knife or whatever. So that's, that's rule number two. Rule number three is if you are filming in dangerous places like slums, places that people you know, may have advised you not to film, it's always best to be with a local person. Why is that? Because they can help you Talk, you know, talk your way out of the situation. You know, I saved myself once from a gang beating in Australia just with my smooth tongue. If I'm travelling in places where I don't speak the language, that's a little bit harder. So it's always handy to have, you know, a local person who speaks the language to help you get out of dangerous situations. So there's my three tips very quickly on how to travel solo, how not to lose your gear, and how to pretty much film everywhere. Keep watching.